Falcha Witches, I'm Temperance from Wild Woman Witchcraft and Blessed Beltane. So today I wanted to go over ways that you can celebrate Beltane while you're still in quarantine. So obviously today is Beltane. And for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, today is Samhain. Although some of you do still celebrate Beltane, but it's a secret, it's okay, I won't tell. Um, Beltane is one of the four Celtic fire festivals in the Wheel of the Year. It's one of my absolute favorite. It has such rich historical documentation. Traditionally, Beltane is a community festival Lots of fire, lots of community activities, um, bonfires, barbecues, uh, the maypole, dancing, singing, drinking. And it's kind of hard to celebrate that in a 2020 world where we're all pretty much still stuck in quarantine. At least I know that I am. So I thought it would be nice to kind of explore ways to bring Beltane into our own homes. One of my favorite ways to do that is through florals. Flower crowns are super easy. They don't have to be as complicated as what you might see on YouTube or Pinterest or on the internet where it's like, oh, you have to get this rope and then you get this floral wire. We're pagans, like we're gonna do this the old school way. So all you're gonna need is something to cut the wildflowers. So I took a pair of scissors with me. I brought a bag to collect the flowers and the flowers. And that is it. That's all we're gonna use to make these flower crowns. Flower crowns are an age appropriate way to bring the flavor of Beltane to children too if you are raising little witches. This is such a fun craft for them to get to wear their flower crowns. You can't really save them because they're made of real flowers, but it's still fun anyways. I tried to dry my flower crown after I made it in the microwave and I almost caught my microwave on fire, so don't do that. Anyways, <clears throat> so let's get going. What you're gonna need to do is find a spot where you have wildflowers. This is a great time to take your government sanctioned walk of the day. So get out there, get walking, and you know, look for some wildflowers. You're gonna need kind of a big bunch of them, and it's really fun if you kind of mix them up. Some of the best flowers to make this though, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're dandelions. But if you don't have dandelions, like I don't have dandelions where I live, any flower is gonna do as long as the stem is nice and flexible. Um, because you're gonna be tying it around. So get your flowers and let's get into this craft. So I find that it's easiest if you have an illustration to kind of see how you're gonna do it. So this is the basic technique. You're gonna make a cross with the dandelions and then you're going to bring the stem below and then you're gonna bring it, I know it kind of looks a little weird in this illustration. You're gonna bring it below, behind, and then over and then hold on to the two as you keep making that. It kind of looks like a four almost. Um, if you're used to macrame. So we're gonna get going. Let me show you how this technique works in real life. So here I am finding my wildflowers. This is all we have in Florida. It'll do. So take your wildflowers and put them out on a table. We're gonna take our first wildflower, cross it. We're gonna loop it back behind and then you see I bring the stem in front and over like that, so it makes like an L4 type. The first three kind of look really, really weird, so I'm gonna step you through it. Once you get after the third one, it really starts to crown itself out. So we're gonna go back, over, well, back behind, in front, and then over, and then hold them all together at the stems. I, at this point, I realized I had to kind of like get those leaves in with my crown. So we're gonna go back behind and front over and continue this process until you get what looks like a flower crown. When you're tying off your flower crown, you're gonna use pretty much a similar technique. Make sure it's long enough or however long you need it to be. You're gonna bring the two ends together, overlap them a little bit, just like so that it looks, you know, good and grab another flower. We're gonna use a flower to tie it off. So you're gonna loop the flower from back behind, do it tight. You can use more than one flower. I just used one for this tutorial um, and loop it around a few times. We're gonna tie that stem into a knot back there. So um, make it, you get all leaves off and stuff and make a little knot. And then you can do the same thing a second time to make it really secure. 
And then with whatever flowers you have left, you can go ahead and fill it out. So I tried using these flowers. It didn't really work out that well, to be honest with you. But it's okay. I took them out and I started refilling with more of these little guys. And I think it came out so, so, so cute. I love how it came out. Again, don't try and dry this out because it doesn't work. But that is how you make a flower crown. So thank you. I hope you enjoy your flower crowns and I hope you have a blessed Beltane. See you guys later.